This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. We are looking at the 2D scene that we quickly put together in the previous lesson. So now it comes down to creating 3D objects and assembling your scene. But not only that, assembling the scene so that it's easy enough to work with and manipulate. Because sometimes when you go from 2D to 3D inside of Moho, things can get a little bit wonky and it can be hard to tell what's going on. So just as long as we have everything properly set up, we should be good to go. Now, the first thing you want to keep in mind when doing this is you should always, or at least I recommend you should always make a group layer when assembling a 3D scene. If you put all of your 3D assets inside of a group, it'll make controlling the scene easier and it essentially gives you access to a second camera. So what we'll do right now is click on the sky, hold in shift, click on rock four, and then we'll right click and choose group with selection. So now this will put everything into its own folder. I'm going to name it scene and then hit enter. So now in 2D, if we grab this and move it around, it's grouped, which is nice. We can go in here and work with everything else individually. So now the next thing we want to do is convert everything to 3D. So we'll double click on rock four and that's going to bring up our layer settings. Now on the far right on the top is a tab called 3D options. So tap on that. And here you can see we have 3D conversion set to none. Let's go down and change this to extrude. And for right now, we're going to come in and remove the silhouettes, materials, and creases, because sometimes that doesn't quite work how we want it. And it can lead to some weird coloring issues when you have the 3D objects moving. But we'll keep shading set to tune right now. Again, that's something else we might change. Not really sure yet. So now, before you go in and apply this, we want to come over here to our layers and make sure we select them all just by clicking once on rock four, holding in shift, and then clicking on sky. Now, I guess my options didn't quite save, but that's okay. Just make sure it's set to extrude, your edges are turned off, and it's set to tune. And once you're good, you can click okay. And this should now apply the settings to all the layers. So here, we're looking at a scene and it looks terrible <laughs> because all we see is the sky. What's going on? Well, it's the way it's rendering things out and also the layer ordering. When you're working in 3D space in Moho, you can work with 3D two different ways. You can keep the traditional way it's using layers and it kind of uses it as a hybrid. So I can come in and I can move things around, but ultimately, because the sky is extruding out, I'm assuming, we're not able to quite get it. Now, if I come in here and I put the sky in front of the sun, you can see now we're getting different results. So right away, it's a bit of a mess. But one thing we can do to help us, at least this helps me, once you have everything established in a group, is to double click on that group. And then you want to tap on depth sort at the top. And here you can see we have some options and they're all turned off. Let's enable sort layers by depth and then sort by true distance. And then we can click okay. Now you'll see what happened was immediately it shifted all my layers. And all this means is now when I'm going through and I'm trying to reorder my layers, let's say I want rock two above sky. I can't do it. You can see no matter what I do, I can't get that layer to go above the sky in the layer ordering. However, since we're now on depth ordering, if I take the transform layer tool and I come up here to the Z property, you can see as I start to bring it out in 3D space, it is now going above the sky. And if I go back in 3D space, you can see now it starts to go down the list. So essentially, you're now able to take all the layers that you have and move them around and wherever you move them is where it's going to order them because now it's working properly within 3D space. The only issue we really have right now is nothing is how it should be. The rocks, the sun, and especially the tree are all misshaped 
They're not quite how we want them yet. And of course, the depth is all wrong. The mountains should be way out in the distance. And these are all things we can do. So we'll pause here and up next, we'll move on to those steps. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit tunefiles.com.